Oh, I suddenly got nervous. Okay. It's another sketchbook tour. It's been a while since the last one. I've had so much going on and I really didn't mean for it to take this long for number 12. And now I'm shaking the camera. But here it is. I'm starting it, I'm doing it now. Yes. If you watched the previous one, you know that I kind of gave up on that one and I started this one instead. That was while I was over in France visiting my mum. So I couldn't use one of my usual sketchbook brands. So this is just like a cheap one that I got for two euros. <laughs> um, that I got for two euros at like a just a cheap store. And you know, it served its purpose. So, you know, I think it was quite a good deal actually. Um, although this is like, pretty lame now. It's pretty limp and pathetic. Yeah, so I'll put all the stickers who they belong to. Uh, that one's mine. That one's mine. That one's mine. <laughs> These two are printed, which is why like this one got some water on it and now it's gone all gross like ink does. And then I drew, I just drew on the front again. Right, yeah, so this is just the front page kind of thing. I like to stick random things on this side. So I've got just some thank you cards from some artists I bought and then just sticking some random things in. This I think was from a birthday cake. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to stick it in. And then this is kind of random. I really hate how it looks and like it feels disgusting. Like I said, I was visiting my mum so I didn't have like all my usual art supplies. So I just bought some like cheap paint. Frog watch <laughs> because there were loads of frogs that were just like stuck in these buckets of water like all over the place. They just couldn't get out so it was like... I was going around and helping them out and um, yeah, frog watch. Uh, yeah, so it went, uh, I started this on October 5th, 2021 and I finished it on March 24th, 2022. Yeah, so this was me planning out like, what do I want to do with the front page? Um, so I wanted it to be frog related, obviously. Um, and this one's kind of cute, if a bit freaky. <laughs> and then this, I was really into Squid Game. I'm not anymore. Um, I binged that show so much. Um, I I don't think I can actually stand it now. Um, like, it, it was good, you know, I enjoyed it, but looking back, it's kind of, well, obviously it's twisted, and uh, I just don't really enjoy that kind of thing anymore. Um, but yeah, I painted Ha, who I cannot remember the name for. Um, I kind of like how she turned out. Um, because the paints were so cheap, they were meant to be acrylic, but it kind of felt like I was using weird gouache. Also, this book is, because it's so cheap, it, I, I'd never use it again. It, I, I wouldn't choose to use this, I just wanted to finish it because I hate leaving sketchbooks half finished. Anyway, um, the pages are actually perforated so you can rip them out. I actually have trouble with this, like I think once or twice in the book. Um, also, the pay, the paper is like, really nasty like it, whenever i touch it it feels like it's just sucking the moisture out of my hands it's horrible you can kind of tell when i'm not feeling a book because like i leave all these blank spaces that they just kill me to look back on but i like how this turned out i decided to just leave it a little bit rough um and then with the background i, I really like how that looks yeah so this was after i got back to england from visiting my mum um, and for some reason I was in a Dragon Age and Pokemon mood again. I go through that a lot for whatever reason. So I just drew Cullen with Arcanine um, and I gave it this pink background that I kind of regret. I kind of wish I'd just drawn more, but I didn't. And then this side I was just drawing some Kerry and V from Cyberpunk because I really love them. For whatever reason, I'm, my mind just keeps getting hooked on them. So I just liked I just like doing comics for them. Here I just wanted to touch upon like Kerry's mental side because like you hear it briefly in the game that he's like really struggling with you know, that other thing that I'm not going to say. I just like the idea of V being a good impact on Kerry. Yeah so here's just some more doodles. I really like how this turned out up here. I think this is adorable. And then that's my V. And then I really like young Kerry. His style is just amazing. I love mullets so much, which is why I created this dude. I'm not sure if you remember him from one of the other books. This is more of the like Dragon Age Pokemon stuff. Um, I wanted to kind of do something for each character, but I only went so far as these two. 
So um, this is Vivian, I gave her just some Pokemon that I thought suited her. In the past I drew her with Melotic, so I wanted Melotic in this one again, and I just really wanted it to look majestic, kind of. Uh, I like how the plants look. <laughs> I just wanted there to be lots there, um, and I do actually really like how it turned out. And then for Alistair, I just wanted something more on the cute side, because I think he's like a really wholesome, sweet character. So like, Oshawott's down here, just like, being a nuisance but um, I really struggled with the background for this because I was like I don't know how to incorporate the other Pokemon that I want with him in it because I made him so big it was like hard to fit everything else in without making them absolutely tiny uh, this is just a like comic I wanted to do for V um, I just wanted to like show him after he'd been in a fight or something and he was getting dumped at the scrapyard again um, I've censored it down here, <laughs> so that's what this is. It's it's not gruesome, but I just thought to be on the safe side, I'm going to censor it. I was going to do another page on this side for the rest of the comic, but I kind of when I do comics like this, like I really put a lot of effort into it. Um, even though it might not look it necessarily, um, it really takes a lot out of me. So I just was like, no, I'm not going to do the other one. This one I actually drew on my birthday <laughs> for whatever reason. I drew Batman, that's meant to be Batman by the way, and then I was messing around with Caesar and Kara if they were back in like Greek times, I, it, yeah. Yeah, so then I wanted to just touch a bit more upon Kara and Caesar's relationship, so then I wanted to show like maybe how they first met, which is more is it Edwardian or Victorian? But yeah, I just like the idea of them being like a, a fancy ball or whatever. Um, and that's where Caesar notices her. Um, and he's like doing his creepy flirting thing. And she's like, oh, I didn't like it. I didn't fall for it. When really she like loved it. Yeah, and then this was Zorro's birthday. <laughs> oh my God, these pages are like so empty. It's so painful to look at. I just wanted to do something small for him with Posca pens. So I do quite like how it turned out actually. I'm not sure what's going on with the red and then the orange behind him. That's a bit strange. Yeah, and then just some simple doodles of them. Oh yeah, here I, <laughs> I got Batman Arkham Knight. Really loved that game. Fun fact, I got it two days before I was supposed to be going back to see my mum in France and I somehow managed to play the entire game within those two days and it was a lot of fun so um, I had to do some drawings for it and I really liked it, I really like how the pencil came out like especially this one here, there's just something about how his mask looks that I just really really love and I actually turned these simple ones into stickers yeah like this one I that's what's at the front of the book is one that I printed out myself but like like here um, I do have some like nicer versions of them as stickers so much blank space also you can see that the pencil is smudging slightly which is like a huge not, uh, what is it um, well it's, it's very annoying <laughs> it's it happens a lot in books but this one is like terrible for it and you can just touch a page slightly and it's smudged uh, yeah, so then there's just a bit more there. Um, and then this was a draw this in your style that I, well, I did this, but then I never actually posted because I didn't actually do anything original to it. So I was like not really comfortable posting it. I just literally copied it in acrylic. So then, cause I'd had fun with like the whole skeleton part of it. I decided to make a skeleton bounty hunter. I think it was actually, I think I'd done this thing on Instagram a little while ago or before this where I'd asked what, what I should draw because I was trying to like push my digital drawings and um, I think one of you guys actually said a skeleton bounty hunter so here I just wanted to like revisit it um, in my sketchbook and just paint it um, and yeah I kind of like how it turned out it is giving Scoddery Pleasant like really heavily um, this is just some wrench from Watch Dogs I wanted to I, I made a sticker like a couple years ago and I just wanted to try and do like a new version of it, of him with smoke. Uh, but I'm just like, I hated how these turned out. They just did not vibe with me. And then over here I was like, I wanted to try and design 
another sticker. So I've got this cute one of wrench that I did actually turn into a sticker. Um, and then I was considering just a little doodle of Kara or a Pokemon. And I did end up making this one a sticker just because I really love it. I was really into Pokemon at this point in time. I think um, the Diamond remake had come out and I didn't have it. And I just really, really was like Pokemon. So I just wanted to design some trainers that are kind of inspired by their Pokemon. So we've got like the Ponyta. Literally, he's just got a ponytail. She's just wearing a ghastly hat. Um, I really like this one. She's like a psychic and um, because she has Psyduck around, like he gives her headaches, um, you know, as it goes. Um, and then this one's just got Bulbasaur, but I wanted the hair to kind of look like the bulb on his back. And then I just did another one for Miss Magius or Miss Magius. I don't know how you say it. And then this one I just gave up on because I did not like how it turned out. And this was supposed to be like a kind of me <laughs> as a trainer and Turtwig is one of one of my favorite starters he's not my favorite he is one of he is just so cute so I did this painting of us that I really really like um, and then I just thought I'd do some doodles of how it would look as he grows <coughs> Eey, that's gross I was going to do a challenge because I was feeling really unmotivated um, and I was in a Pokemon mood as you know so I was going to do this challenge but basically it was just like favourite Pokemon from first and second gen so Murkrow and Ghastly. Meowth's just there because I wanted them to pick on him. Then favourite third and fourth gen which is Shroomish and Shinx. Favourite fifth and sixth then favourite fire starter, favourite water starter. The pages stick together because of the acrylic paint, which isn't very nice, but also I just stopped feeling it like really quickly. Like I like how this looks with the lineless look. Um, that's probably the only one that I actually really like, although Shroomish is pretty cute. But um, yeah, I just immediately wasn't feeling it. So I didn't do any more. Uh, and then I believe this is when the second season of Witcher came out. Um, and I actually really enjoyed it. I'm sure you can tell who my favourite was. I even said up here, I wasn't sure about this Lambert when it first, when he first came on screen because the, like I've read the first Witcher book, which is like the collection of short stories. Um, but otherwise my only, the only thing of Witcher that I've been exposed to have been the games. So my Lambert is very different to how this one was. So I wasn't sure I was gonna like him, but actually I, love him so much. I'm a bit mixed on how season three is gonna be, like I'll probably watch it, but um, I really enjoyed season two and honestly I loved the whole Care Morhen, Care Morhen, Care Morhen. I loved that whole part of the show, like it was one of my favourite parts in the game as well. Even though it was so small, um, I really liked seeing the witches like involvement together and just like where they grew up and everything but yeah and then just some more doodles of the other char characters i was really happy that she showed up at the end although i can't remember her name it's philippa isn't it is it philippa she turns into an owl um i was really happy they included her because i did actually really like her in the game as well yeah so then these are just some more doodles yeah, i really liked the burn butcher burn song i just added it in although it's, it looks so like pale and half finished. I was going to write it in in red but then I thought it would just detract from the drawings too much so I didn't. And this page, oh my lord, look how blank it is. It's terrible, like you can just tell. I was not feeling this book at all. I wanted to draw more of Rince, but Rin I don't remember his name, it's not Rince. <laughs> I wanted to draw more of him because um, like I said I really liked him. Um, and I am really, I really love fire related powers or whatever in like almost anything. Fire is one of my favourites. So yeah, <laughs> um, it's edgy. <laughs> but yeah, so then I wanted to revisit my, my Witcher OCs, Ursula and Peter. And I wanted to just try and revamp them a little bit. So I kind of gave her curly hair. But honestly, I don't really like how 
they turned out at all like her face just looks wrong he's fine i did nothing to him he looks exactly the same but um i like her hair here in the doodles but then when i actually try and draw it more realistically i i hate how it looks and her face there's just something wrong with her face i did something different so maybe i'll revisit that and actually try again but here i i, I don't like it yeah, so then I just went back to my comfort character, Wrench. <laughs> um, I drew him as a zombie again because I still really love that idea. Um, and then just like a cute version. Um, and then this little thing up there. And then here is where I was redrawing Quinn, one of my old OCs. I think I... well, not old. They're relatively new. Um, I created them in the previous sketchbook, I think and I gave them a sort of like mullet hairstyle but um, I just really wanted to redraw them and give them this like race car jacket or whatever you call it just because I really love that I really love that look and aesthetic on characters and I really just wanted a character that also had that so Quinn and this is the one that I put on the front cover yeah I was in a really bad mood I think which is why and then I just wanted to show them interacting with Kara just because it's cute when you have your OCs interacting it makes them seem and feel just a bit more real and then I created a new one Octavia which one of you named and I really wish I'd written down who yeah this was just based on an Instagram advert I saw of a piece of clothing um, I just really wanted to draw someone in it, so I thought, why not make up a new character? Which then changed into this, and I really love how this little one turned out. I love her outfit. Here was, again, I think I'd been, like, on P Pinterest a lot, um, and I'd been seeing a bunch of clothes like this, so I was like, I really want to draw them. So this is, like, an alternate universe kind of thing, where they go out and hunt demons or monsters or whatever. Um, which is why Kara's like, there's been a string of ghoul attacks, um, but obviously Kara's a demon, so people don't really trust them. Yeah, so I just like the idea that they're like monster hunters, but like classy. They go around and they like effectively take monsters down and like help people, but it's always for money. Like, like obviously they do it for good, but um, they'll only do it if they get paid, because obviously they need to keep up their lavish lifestyle. And then this was just back to like doodling them in like cute fun clothing. Um, and this was my attempt at um, giving Caesar a turn because like I hadn't drawn him for a while. He was feeling a bit left out. And then this was just some more OCs that I was like, let's redraw them. Um, this was my dreadlock dude from a previous book again. Um, this is my desert dude who I really love how he turned out here. Um, all the danglies just look really cute. And then this is Bonnie. I think she's the only one with a name out of these ones. She was just like a weird doodle from like that really bad sketchbook that had like the really crinkly paper. Oh yeah, so yeah, <laughs> because I really liked how that desert um, OC picture came out, I wanted to draw him again over this double page spread. I think I was either planning to paint it or like really go in with the pencil and make it look like a finished piece. But like I got the sketch down and I was just tired. <laughs> I didn't want to do any more. Um, so I just left it. I also really didn't like it at the time. But I actually quite like it now. Although these do look like flies, which I don't like. <laughs> They're meant to be like little magical moths, but they just look like stinky. But yeah, and this is a bit more like a giant moth. Because my whole thing was like this incense is meant to like ward off monsters, but it attracts um, moths. So I just like the idea of this giant moth being attracted to the incense. Like down here is meant to be like how big he really is. And then here is when I'd watched Encanto, which I really liked. The music was so catchy, but Bruno, we don't talk about Bruno, was stuck in my head for like weeks afterwards and like I really can't hear it anymore without it just staying. So I just don't listen to it anymore. Even talking about it now, it's back in my head. <laughs> Yeah, and then I was just drawing these three. I just kind of gave up on the background. This is when I started a, another Marvel binge. Um, I think this was when I got my mum to watch the, the new shows on Disney for the first time. So we were all watching them together um, and we've been watching Loki. And you guys already know I have like mixed feelings on that show. Wanted to do some drawings from it again. 
Um, and I really like how this one turned out because I really struggle to draw Loki. He is like one of the, he's one of the Marvel characters that I just have never ever drawn that I like. So I was really happy with how this page turned out. Um, and there's a little Thor down there. Um, yeah, and then this wanted to, I think I drew a doodle for them in a previous book with like fur cloaks. I wanted to give them the proper like Viking aesthetic. Um, and then this little doodle down here, I also really like. I like the idea of Loki being very comfortable inside his cloak. So he just like never opens it or takes his hands out because it's like warm and cozy. This is when I was planning to, I was going, well, I started re-watching all the Marvel films in like a sort of marathon. And my plan was to draw like one scene from each film. So this is Iron Man. That's Bucky because like I said, we'd been watching the shows and we'd gone on to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but he doesn't have a mouth because I couldn't draw it. He's another one I struggle with. This is when I was watching Iron Man 2. I really struggled to pick a scene from that film to draw. So I just went with the, went with the iconic donut scene. And this was just me drawing um, Caesar and Kara again. And again, I didn't know what to do for a background. So I just painted it red. <laughs> Um, it kind of works, like they stand out, but it is such a waste of the page. And then this is from Thor. Um, I think, you know, I, I'm really bad at sticking to challenges. I think this is the one I give up on. Like I drew this and I was like, that's enough. I'm not drawing anymore. I'm not, I think I might've even stopped watching the Marvel marathon. Like I've slowly been watching it again, but I think I stopped and I haven't watched any more since. I think the last Marvel film I watched was either Multiverse of Madness or No Way Home. And I, like, whichever one was the most recent was the last one I, no it wasn't. I watched Thor Love and Thunder. That's the last one I watched. I'm, I just don't want to watch anymore. It sucked. This was, I was trying to plan out some drawings of Kara because I was making some little books. Actually, hang on, let me get them. It was, um, designing some little drawings of Kara because um, my mum and I were making these little books. I really wanted to like personalise each one of mine in some way so I decided I wanted to draw Kara because she's my girl. Yeah so these are the more proper designs and yeah I was going through and I was like what am I going to do? Am I going to stick to a theme? So just Kara going through loads of things. I was really struggling to come up with anything and then I just like drew this Kara and I was like I really love this. She looks like a kind of jester, trickster, little goblin thing. <laughs> Um, so I chose this one for the first one, so I just drew her on the cover. Just using this coloured paper and then on the back I did a cute little snake. I was considering getting this as a tattoo once just because I really love how it looks, but I never did. I don't know if I'm ever actually going to get a tattoo just because I'm so indecisive. Just making these little segment books, um, it's just some coloured paper that's patterned on both sides and then just segments of paper and I just want to doodle in it at some point like it's quite small so I don't know what I'd use it for I'm gonna use it at some point I was thinking when I go to because my plan is to do like tables at conventions at some point and I thought these would be perfect to just stick in my bag and like draw in or like get other people to do some drawings in them like just for fun. Yeah, I was really enjoying making those books. Like they took a long time to do, but I was really enjoying making them. So I wanted to make some more. So yeah, I was designing more of them and I wanted to try and keep them in theme with this first one over here. Um, this one isn't, this one is using one of the other doodles. Um, and it's just a tiny one because we were using the off cuts. With this one to match that design. Um, and I always wanted to put something on the back just because I thought it was cute. So I wanted them in theme. Um, and then this one for that one is just a sun on the back. And because I'd done those two, I was initially like planning to do a different one of Quinn. But I thought I really want to just keep all in the same theme. So we've got this one here as well. I think because they are themed, they look really cute together. And then this one is one of my favourites as well. This one is supposed to be like the tarot card, the hanged man. Yeah, and then this one is the, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's another tarot card, I think. 
uh, the full maybe? And I just put a moth on the back because I thought it was cute. Yeah, and then I had one more book, so I just did this one. And then just a weird skull on the back. But yeah, they were a lot of fun. They really hurt my hands after a while because I was like doing so much cutting and so much sewing because like there's a lot of pages in these. I wanted these books to be full. I just think they look really cute and they're like themed. Yeah, I, I got into Mass Effect again. <laughs> it's just a cycle with my obsessions. I'm just constantly going back and back and back. So I was trying to draw Caden who I can never never draw him with the same face he always looks different and i think that's just because i still don't actually know how to draw him because like his model is you know it can look a little potato sometimes this is just abba gimme 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 because i love that song um although it makes me think of poe dameron and then this was just a doodle i thought it'd be fun to show my shepherd interacting with joker and Caden. um it was all from this post-it note doodle um which i think i actually prefer more and how it ended up just because it looks better and just some more like joker finding a tiny version of the hologram you can find on the citadel and then i wanted to do something really cute for shepherd and caden just because i never really draw them interacting anymore and i really like how it turned out because i just kind of i wung it winged it is wung it a word can you say you wung something <laughs> when you mean to say you know like you when you wing it that doesn't sound right Wung it can't be a word. There's got to be something else for it. Winged it. And then here's just more of my best boy Vega, which, oh my god, I knew that people didn't like him so much, but I saw this article the other day saying that he is the least favourite companion, and I was like, how dare you? Because for me personally, it's Liara. I hate Liara. Yeah, I just thought, cute again to have them interacting. And then this was a reference of Caden covered in blood. Oh yeah, this was a redraw of a little joke comic I did years ago. This is a redraw as well. Most of them are redraws, uh, like this. This is, um, I did a comic ages ago about how I turned on easy mode um, at the end of Mass Effect 1 and I just wanted to redraw it. Um, I was gonna paint it, as you can see, <laughs> um, but I really liked how the sketch came out and it kind of intimidated me too much so I never got around to painting it. But I think it was like sometime last year I did actually redo it eventually just digitally and i kind of like how that turned out um i have yet to decide if i'm going to put it in the video or not it's stuck in my next sketchbook so maybe i'll just make you wait doodles of cara and caesar and then this is when i finally got assassin's creed valhalla because i didn't get it immediately because i don't always like buying games as soon as they come out it's a lot of money and I just can't afford to be doing that. Um, but I got this when it was on sale. That game is so long. I haven't finished it just because I got so overwhelmed. But yeah, I really liked this hairstyle I got for my girl. I, and I just really liked it. So I just wanted to draw it. Um, and this is actually, I have a video of me drawing it. I think it's up here on YouTube. And then this was just drawing some more characters from it. Um, him. What's his name? Ivar or whatever. I have mixed feelings on him. I really, really liked his character, even though he was like annoying and chaotic, up to a certain point. If you played the game, you know exactly what point that is. And I don't know if I can forgive him. This is when I was going through an Animal Crossing phase. I was experimenting with gouache down here, but I really, I just gave up because I didn't like it. I hated how it was turning out. And this is actually like, um, I'd done this digitally. And then I thought I would take the just the section of Tammy, or whatever her name is, and try doing it traditionally, and I just gave up. But I love how <laughs> I love how this fish eye looks down here. Um, I'm really happy with that. And then her, whose name I have forgotten. Um, I really didn't like her when she first moved into my town, but she like quickly became one of my absolute favourites. Although I reset my town, so I don't have her anymore. This was another Instagram prompt thing. I asked you guys who you wanted to see me draw just because like, again, I was feeling really unmotivated. You guys were really helpful for that, so thank you. These two I think were warm-ups that I just drew because 
I had no idea what to do and I just wanted to draw something. Yeah, and then this is a character that I don't remember. I really should write these things down. I used to be really good at that, but obviously I got lazy. This, I believe, was just meant to be like a fire puppy. Maybe? Um, and it looks weird. I did it with Posca for whatever reason. I had a bunch of Genshin suggestions, so I just clumped them together on the page. I say a bunch, I had three. <laughs> That's so many. Uh, here are a few more. I don't know who that is. That's Aiden from Watch Dogs. I know exactly who asked for that. That is, what's his face? Speedy Boy. Quicksilver, that's it. From the X-Men films, who I do genuinely love, but I hate how he turned out here. Like, I can see now what went wrong. His face is just, like, too squished. It needs to be stretched out more because it also like his eyes look too far apart and it just looks completely wrong and then this is a character that i don't know but i feel like it's from like delta rune or something don't come for me if i'm wrong i never watched the rest of that game i started watching someone play it and then i never finished it this is the wonderful molly mock he is one of my favorites although i think my absolute favorite from critical role is like caleb and not but yeah his him. Um, I had a lot of fun drawing him um, with his cards. I don't know what his cards look like so I just made one up and put a question mark on it. <laughs> and Howl and Sophie that I do actually kind of like how they turned out. Howl especially, although I didn't draw his other eye again. Same with Aiden. Oh and with Molly. I just can't draw the other eye sometimes so I do not bother. Um, this is Kara as a military person. I do quite like it, it's very clean. That's like one of the cleanest drawings I think I've done. This artist was asking for people to send in their OCs and um, they'd redraw them. And I sent mine in, I sent this picture in on a whim and she redrew it. And I loved it so much. Um, I'll pop that up on the screen. These are just some Genshin people because I stopped playing Genshin ages ago, but I still really like the designs of a couple of them and like he's one of my favourites um, and I think this is just like when I just got my Tombow pens, these ones, um, so I just wanted to do something with them so I just decided to do this which is just them with some like biro pens or roller pens, I'm not really sure, oh my lord, <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me what this is. I painted the page neon pink because I was hoping, I wanted to do something with this neon paint I had. And I, this is what I decided to do. I uh, hate how Naruto turned out, <laughs> but ugh, I hate this page so much. <laughs> this is also weird. I drew Kara as this like, she almost looks like a priestess of some sort. And I was going to colour her in and everything, but then I realised that, because I wanted to use Posca, but because I painted on this side and there's Posca here, it would stick. So I decided to get fancy and I only coloured in this segment and then covered it with tracing paper with some pen on it so that it was protected and I for whatever reason decided to put like a skeleton over it like where her skeleton might be it's probably wrong because I don't I, I, I must have used a reference but I don't know why I, like that's the, what is it the sternum yeah the sternum it's segmented for whatever reason and it I, it's not <laughs> but for some reason I drew it segmented it, you know, it's a mess. I, I don't like this spread, is basically what I'm trying to say. I went back into my good old, let's redraw things when you don't know what to draw. So I was drawing Desmond and Spider, because I drew them together that one time. So I redrew him with heart, his heart glasses on, and then I just thought I'd draw them together, which I do think is kind of cute, although her face looks a bit wrong. And then this was just drawing some dresses I found on Pinterest. I really like how they turned out, like with the ruffles and everything, like this one especially. I think it's really cute. This is when I started watching Peacemaker, which I still really love. If you haven't watched that show, you absolutely should. I wasn't planning to, but then I saw that this dude was in it and I thought I'd give it a go. And obviously he's my favourite, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Um, but that show was just so much fun. 
Um, I watched it again recently actually just because I love it so much. I, I think it's like, it's pretty, it's not that dark, but I think it's considered like dark humour. Yeah, it was really fun and um, Vigilante was my favourite and I hope they do a season two. And this was just a, I wanted to paint him, obviously, so I did and I do quite like how it turned out, although the quote, I don't think I should have done it or I should have done it differently because too much of it gets cut off so I don't really think you can tell what it is. Oh, uh, this was another, I was trying to redo that like vampire um, military dude comic and I gave up. You know when I said that this paper is terrible and it feels like it sucks the moisture out of your hands? Well, it really was like sucking my Poscas dry. The red just like died on this page so I, I gave up. I also just wasn't liking how it was turning out. I didn't like the pencil sketch, I didn't like how I then inked it, and then the red wasn't fixing it, so I just gave up on this side, um, and now it sticks together a lot, so it's ripping constantly every time I open it. Uh, this was, I was just trying to like further figure out what I wanted the vampire girl's outfit to be, and then this, <laughs> I really liked how the mouth turned out, is it on this one? Yeah, I think it's that, I think it's this one. Um, I really liked how it turned out so I drew it on like a scrap piece of watercolor paper and then like went over it with Posca but I made it green for some reason. I think it's because I really liked the contradicting color with the mouse and it's just giving Joker vibes which is not what I wanted or or I suppose you could say it's like Poison Ivy or Fiona or something. And then this page, ugh. I wanted to draw Kara. I think I did this paint here to cover something up which is why it's like gross um, and then I drew Kara and I wanted to do the bits over the painted area in white and it wasn't working oh um this is when I was like really feeling bad I was really struggling with like my mental health a bit at this point and I was really missing my cat um there's a lot of information on this page that I just probably going to cover up unless I change my mind. Um, it's like a lot of my like insecurities and what I just don't feel good about and I just thought if I get it out on the page it might make me feel better but yeah that's meant to be me. But this is my my little girl Clipsy. She was a kitten that we found wandering across the motorway when we were in France. We found her and her brother and they were covered in ticks and fleas and they were just this bag of bones. And yeah, so we took them in and I love her so much. She became like my little animal. She followed me around everywhere um, and she was so small. And she's bigger now um, and she does. she's not as clingy anymore, obviously because I, I live full time like in England, so I don't really get to see her that often. But yeah, she's a funny girl. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, this is Kara. I know it doesn't look it, because for some reason she's red. I have no idea why I did this. Because um, she's blue. <laughs> well, I don't know why. I just decided to paint her red and then paint the background blue. Don't ask me what she's doing. Yeah, and then this is... I bought, I bought The Sims 4 because it was on sale. It was like ridiculously cheap. It's free now, so it could have gotten cheaper. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make Kara and Caesar in it because I'd seen this other artist making their OCs and like getting really good like references and like their characters in scenes. And I was like, that's a really good idea. So I made Kara and Caesar, but obviously the base game is quite limited on like hairstyles and stuff. So they've got long hair. Um, because of it though, Caesar does now officially have long hair because I really like it. But um, Kara has long hair. Um, yeah, and I just thought I had to doodle it and I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, yeah, and this is just some more. So this is like what their lounge looks like in The Sims. So I thought it would be cute to put them on the sofa and then this is just them in like another version of their outfits and then this i don't know should i cover that am i going to get in trouble on youtube for that I, well i finished the book and i was relieved <laughs> it was killing me i th th this book is just uh 
I mean, it's so much better than the previous one, but it was still not great. But, you know, for two euros, you know, you get what you get. Um, so, yeah, I was just happy to finish it. Um, and this is because this is a cheap book it doesn't have like the usual folder that some of the other books i have so i um made my own um so i just like stuck some stickers on it that's from an artist i bought from and this is an old cyberpunk sticker that i got with a magazine one time and um, this is a sticker i printed out of cara that's actually been made into like a proper sticker this is vigilante <laughs> Because I drew this and then used it as a cutout for whenever I painted him. Which is where? Where did I do that? Here. So I like used it to get an idea. I can't remember why. Uh, these are just some tracings of some things that I didn't want to lose. I don't know whose face that is. I don't remember doing that. That's just some scrap paper. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's for the vampire comic. Uh, this is for that Mass Effect comic. Because I like to just draw them out roughly first so that I can get the composition. Oh yeah, that's for that um, Kara painting drawing thing. Just some scraps. Oh, little Kara. Uh, oh yeah, I did that um, Pokemon fusion thing where it fuses two Pokemons together. And this is Arbok and Zapdos, and I actually really, 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 really love it. I think it's really cute, which is why I sketched it, but I never did anything with it. This was for the Caesar and Kara comic. Oh yeah, this is the um, Cyberpunk comic that I never finished. So yeah, that's the other page. And this is, obviously... <laughs> This is a sketch for a comic from when my brother and I were playing Baratrauma and he he blew us both up, which was fun. And this is just a sketch that I've never done anything with because I hate it. I think it's actually really old. I put it in this one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just have like swatches and some more doodles. This is John and Joseph from Far Cry 5, but I can't remember why. And then that's just some Batman doodles. Um, I think I was just doodling out a, something that Dan Mora had done, because he does some really great Batman things. He does a lot of great art, but I really like his Batman stuff. Swatches, and then these are just some like ideas I had. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That was an easier one. So, that was sketchbook 12. Thank you for watching it. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry it's taken so long. Um, it's probably gonna be a while, f you know, from now for me, because I also have to edit it. Um, but hopefully I'll get it out soon. Um, I've had a lot of collaboration videos lately and I'm just like hoping I can get out some normal stuff. Because I've also been experimenting with just like doing art videos in general. Um, so that it's not just sketchbook tools or just collaborations. But yeah, that was sketchbook 12. Um, obviously I've got to show you the next one. It's another big one. This is sketchbook 13. You can see that up there. Just ignore it, that's where a candle burnt my table. Um, this is sketchbook 13. It's another big one. Um, and then after this one will actually be caught up to my current sketchbook. So I should get around and quickly do this. Or maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, yeah, that was sketchbook 12. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you have a lovely day. I wanna say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Dispe, Majin Pauly, Megan Palmer, Grim Clow, Lily M, Bailey, Non-Toxic, Squiddy, and St. Nick's. Thank you all for supporting me over on Patreon. And thank you everyone who just follows me in general. You're always all so nice to me and supportive. <laughs>